Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com and I am here with another video. Um, long overdue. Uh, God's been downloading things into my spirit and I've been seeing things and, you know, um, dreaming things and, um, you know, I try to give the word as he gives them to me. Some things I don't give right away, but I write it down um, and... I try to give it to you guys as I'm able um, and as time allots, but anything that God has, you know, is, it, unless he says, hold on, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely give, um, but I believe that this word is overdue and um, God's been confirming this word through other people and I bless God today because he confirmed it before now um and god gave me this word like a few weeks ago no was it a few weeks ago it actually was like last week for real i want to say it was last week or the, or the week before last but either way um i'm gonna start here uh with a prayer for those who don't know me i'm your girl danny royal from dannyroyal.com if i have not said that already but I'm going to say a prayer and then I'm going to go into what it is that God's given me. Uh, the vision that I had, well, what I heard, and also, you know, um, scriptures and things to back it up. Um, so, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. I thank you for all that you are, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do. Holy Spirit, I ask that you have your way. Thank you for meeting us here, oh God, your presence are welcome here in every way, shape, form, and fashion, oh God. Nothing else is welcome but only your spirit, oh Father. God, I ask that you hide me behind the cross, that your word may be delivered to all the voices, I mean, to all the ears that are to hear it most, oh God. And I ask that you allow it to be spoken uh, 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 as a confirmation word, you know, out of the mouths of the people that you deem to be uh, necessary to use, oh God, in this season and in this time. Lord, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your love, grace, and mercy. I thank you for warning before destruction. I thank you for even judgment, God. I thank you for just judgment, Lord, righteous judgment. I thank you for all, oh God, of who you are the epitome of who you are. Father, I ask that you just have your way in every way, Lord. However you choose to go forward with this word, God, I ask that you continue to have your way. I ask that you get it out the way that you choose. Not my will, God, in this moment, but your will be done, God. And also, Lord God, allow the Holy Spirit to, oh God, speak out the things that I may miss as an individual. I thank you, Yeshua, in every way. And it's in your name that I pray. Amen. Okay, so you guys. Um, well, let me start here. Like, last year, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about someone. And this specific person, I deem to be someone who um, it is an enemy. You know, I, 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 I don't want... I didn't want to deem them to be an enemy. But unfortunately... Um, the things that I've experienced with them, I can recognize that they've allowed the enemy to use them. Um, whether they can recognize it or not, they may or may not. But I know that I can't call them friend. I can't call them family. I can't call them even really associates. All I can call them is a soul, a vessel, you know. Um, but the Lord has spoke to me and he had let me know that he was going to take them out of there out of here out of this out of this earth and it's so crazy because you know in that moment I'm like well Lord you know you try to pray for people but in that moment the Holy Spirit told me not to pray against his will because some things are set in stone some things are just is what it is and I just left it there I didn't even bring it back up you know I didn't oh even now, I just, I didn't bring it back up. I just let it be what it was. So not long after that, I'm going to say a few months. I'm going to say not long because our time is not uh, God's and God's time isn't ours. But um, he had given me a, a dream. Um, and this person ended up, you know, uh, headed to transition out of this, this, this life. And I'm just like, oh, Lord, 
Okay. So that unctioned the word that he has spoken to me. And I'm like, Lord, you know, who would want these things to happen to anyone? But okay, not my will, Lord, but your will be done. If you say something, who am I to challenge you on what it is that you say? Now, sometimes we can pray. Don't get me wrong. We can pray against certain things, but some things are inevitable um, because God gives us opportunities and he gives us chance, chances and he sends warning, you know, before destruction. And sometimes because of who we are, what we do and our pride amongst other things, it gets in the way and it counterfeits or it counter. It, not counterfeit, it counter, uh, I, I, I know the word that I want to use, but it, it literally, it, it, it holds no weight because, you know, they've had a chance. And, and at that point, God's like, you know, I've given them chance after chance after chance. And so I'm like, okay, okay, Lord. Now, fast forward a year later and some change. Literally, I heard the Lord again, but before I heard his voice, I heard the sound of this specific individual in my ear. And when I heard this individual in my ear, I heard them yelling. And I'm like, Lord, like what's going on? I heard them yelling in agony. And I'm like, Father, like, why did I hear that? But prior to the Holy Spirit had given me a scripture in Jeremiah, you know, and God's been dealing with me in this book specifically um, when it comes down to judgment and things like that. And I was like, God, you know, he gave me Jeremiah 11. But I had already, I was like, well, God, where do you want me to go at in Jeremiah 11? So he led me to Jeremiah 11, 11. And I had been seeing the numbers 11, 11. And, you know, we, people think that, you know, especially the new age, that 11, 11 means awaken or whatever, whatever. But sometimes, you know, um, God, no, not sometimes, all the time, don't take anybody else's word for it. Don't take... Go to God for yourself and say, Lord, exactly what do you mean? Because he could be leading you to a scripture. He could be trying to, you know, um, keep you focused on something, you know, that you need to be focused on. That's for somebody. But he led me to Jeremiah 11, 11, 11, 11 But then he also allowed me to uh, read down to Jeremiah 18 through, let me see, through 21 or 20. Hold on. We're going to be flipping a little bit you know, uh, in this specific word, you know, cause God had given me a few things and I pray that you guys can track with me 23. Okay. So he, so, so follow me, you guys. So first we're going to start here at Jeremiah 11, 11. Now, mind you keep track of what I've already spoken about as far as what I heard, the, the vision that the, I mean, the dream that the Lord had given me fast forward a year later you know, I heard screaming, yelling in my ear from this specific person in agony. Um, and this is the Lord had given me this scripture, Jeremiah eleven eleven, a few days before I heard the screaming. And I said, God, well, why did you give me that scripture? If you ask God for a thing, and ask God for wisdom, knowledge and understanding on a thing, he will give it to you. OK, so Jer Jeremiah eleven eleven says, Therefore, thus, the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them, meaning I will not hear them. I will not respond to them. I will not move on their call. Okay. I'm going to read it again. Jeremiah 11, 11, And it says, Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape it. O oh God, oh Jesus. And they shall cry unto me, and I will not hearken unto them. Okay. So then he let me to read 18 through 23 
And this specific passage highlights the plot against Jeremiah. People in high places are coming down. Your enemies are about to be taken care of by God. And when I say that people are leaving out of here, they are going to be dropping dead, you guys. Dropping dead. I, this is not... Y'all, nobody wants to give a word that people are going to be dropping dead. Nobody wants to give a word that people are going to be out of here. But when the Lord confirms the word and visions and dreams with the word, you give God back his word and say, Lord, you said, Father, it's out of your hands at that point. That's for somebody. Our jobs as the mouthpieces of God or vessels of God is to speak with us, saith the Lord. What happens after that? totally on the individuals and it's totally on how God decides to maneuver going forward okay so he he follow me this is Jeremiah 11 18 through 23 and it says and the Lord have have given me knowledge of it and I know it then thou showest showest me their doings this is 18 so God show me what this person or these people were plotting. Some of you are aware of what these enemies have been plotting. I, I, I mean, I don't care who you are, where you are, what you're doing, how you're doing it. If you are a child of God, the Holy Spirit will not have you ignorant concerning the enemy's devices. This is the word, you guys. And I need you to understand that God, God is judging righteously during this time. If you have sown good things, you're going to reap good things. If you have sown bad things, you're going to reap bad things. And this is a little period. God, not even a little. God is literally, he has literally given the people a period of time to repent, to get their hearts right, to, to, to surrender, to do a whole rack of other things. But unfortunately, when pride gets in the way, they don't see anything else. So if you are not aware, this is for somebody, God's going to make you aware in the name of Jesus from this day, of day, day forward. If you are not aware of the enemy's plots against you, I decree and declare in this moment in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach that you shall receive the knowing, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the enemy's devices concerning your life. Amen. Verse 19, but I was like a lamb or an ox. That is brought to, to the slaughter. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saith the Lord. Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. And let us cut, that, cut him off from the land of the living. That his name may be no more remembered. 20, but O oh Lord of hosts, that judges righteously, my God is a righteous judge, what I say, my God is a righteous God, if you serve the Lord that I serve, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know that he is a righteous and a just God, and that he will judge righteously, thank you Holy Spirit, have your way, I'm going to read it again, but, O oh Lord of hosts, that judges righteously, that tries the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them. For unto thee have I revealed my cause. God is going to allow you to see the vengeance. The Holy Spirit says, not even the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit says, that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and I will repay every man. Not some men, not, not many men, not a plethora of men, not a little bit of men, but I will repay every man according to their works. Follow me, you guys. 21. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of the men of Anathoth. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. That seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of the Lord, that thou diest not by our hand. These people are going to be taken out of here. 
Jesus, people are going to be dropping dead. And I'm not smiling because it's a joyful moment. I, 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 I smile because when the Lord confirms his word and you know you've been living upright to the best of your knowledge, the Bible says that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and he will repay every man according to his works. No, it is not his will that any man should perish, but it is his will that we be in good health and that he see us prosper and uh, and be in good health even as our souls prosper. But God gives us the opportunity. He gives us the opportunity to get it right here. He gives us the opportunity to live right. He gives us the opportunity to, 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 to forgive. He gives us the opportunity to, 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 to do things in just ways. And God will not let up for his people. Absolutely not. 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Y'all, these people are going to be... Y'all, these people are leaving out of here. I, leaving out of here. They are going. They are going to be dropping dead. I don't know how... I know y'all. They talking about COVID nineteen, but now I, I I don't mean. And the, and the Lord let me know this: people are not gonna just be leaving out of here because of that. People are gonna be leaving out of here because God's going to be swiping people out of here left and right because of pride. He says that pride comes before a mighty fall. Y'all, I cannot make this up. I'm gonna continue to read on. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. Y'all, there's going to be a famine. Oh, a famine is about to take place. It's, it's actually here. God's judgment is here. Look around, you guys. Look around. Look around. You don't have to... Y'all... Don't take my word for it. Test the spirit and see if it's of God or not. Not only that, go to the Lord for yourself and say, Lord, is what she's saying true? God, confirm this word with me because I want to make sure that I'm in your will. And it says 23, and there shall be no remnant of them. No your enemies are leaving out of here. They are going. They are finito. They are bye-bye, y'all. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Do you hear me what I'm saying? And God, know, God knows. God knows. For I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth. Even the year of of their visitation God is tired you guys God is tired he is tired he is tired he is tired and and I promise you this is not a threat God's judgment is here and when he spoke to me in and, and said he said I am that I am he said I am that I am I am that I am. And what he spoke to me in that moment when I heard the screaming and the yelling of agony, God says, I am that I am. This is what I heard him spoke. But I also heard him say that the time has come now. The time has come now. The time has come now. I've seen and heard two different women of God speak and they said January they said 2022 y'all so I even have this word in my book like I wrote, I wrote I can't make any of this up I write stuff I am that I am I heard yelling look it's highlighted and God allows me to do that 
Because he gives me things at certain times and sometimes it's not meant to be released and sometimes it is. But what are the odds? We are a few days away. We are a few days away from January. We are a few days away from 2022. And I need you to understand that God will use whoever he, he wants to. He will use the willing vessels. And this is the thing. These words are weighty words. Like I said, we don't want to come to you with words saying that people are going to drop dead. No, but sin 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 is the cause the bible says that the wages of sin is death is death but the gift of god is eternal life and 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 and, and it's so crazy because he gave me that he said i am that i am he allowed jeremiah to be aware of the of the of the devices concerning the enemy he allowed the uh 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 the, the Jeremiah to be aware of what was going on. He said, Lord, let me see their vengeance. Let me see your vengeance upon them. God's going to allow you to see the vengeance and the recompense. Because people chose pride and sin over God and love and forgiveness. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's going to be, it's going to be epic. Not only will people be dropping dead and I promise you, it won't just be because of COVID. People are going to be dropping dead. And not only that, the famine has begun, but we have not seen anything yet, but God's people, we got some blessings coming our way. So look out y'all. The Bible says that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for just whole nother word, different time, but Lord. That's for somebody. But let me carry on. So the Holy Spirit is so confirming. And he didn't need to do this for me. Because I trust the Lord. And the words that he gives me. But sometimes God does that as reminders. Because he did that a whole year later. And I heard the agony. In the voice of the individual. And it was yelling. I heard it y'all as clear as day. And I was like Lord why would you give me that scripture? Why would you give me that? And he, he led me there. But then I had a conversation with someone and they had a dream concerning the individual and concerning the individual, this person got caught up in a portal that was developed in the woods somewhere. And in this portal, they tried to get out, but they couldn't. And then they disappeared. This was a couple of days later. This was somebody close to me who had a sa the same dream about the same person. And I said, Lord, oh Lord, not my will be done, but your will. And what I don't know what your will is, Holy Spirit, you intercede on our behalf. The Holy Spirit will make intercession for you and I with our moanings and our groanings, you guys. That was that was a confirmation on top of a confirmation. And then he sent someone to send me another scripture. To confirm on top of the confirmation, on top of the confirmation. Although God's word don't need to be confirmed, but he does it because he loves his people. And he sends warning before destruction, you guys. And this is how I know that this word was so important. This word is so important for this time because you guys are going to look around. And I need you to understand that God is he, God is literally delivering his people from the hands of the enemy. Those people who have been willing to be used by the enemy willingly and, and non-willingly. For all of those people who sees this video and hears the voice of God. And still choose to go thine way. Woe unto you. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Because God again sends warning before destruction. But he sent me to. Isaiah chapter 41. 
Now, I read this in the Message Bible, and I also read it in the King James King James Version. But I'm going to read the actual King James Version right now, Isaiah 41, verse 8 through 14. But I'm going to paraphrase the Message Bible because I love the way that it, it had, uh, uh, the way that it was put in that specific connotation. But I don't have a Message Bible, but I'll, I got you. So it says, but thou Israel art my servant, Jacob, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of my friend Abraham, thou, the, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, thou art my servant, you are a child of God. God's not going to have people messing over his people. I don't care whether it's the government system. I don't care if it's the churches, these leaders. I don't care if they are witches and warlocks. I don't care who it is. God's not going to have the enemy literally ha gaining momentum over his people. Absolutely not. I don't care if it's family members, friends, quote unquote, who say that they are friends, but they really enemies. This is for you. Mm-hmm. You are a friend of God. Those people. And God won't have you ignorant concerning the enemy's devices. I have chosen thee. And not cast thee away. God is here for us, y'all. Fear not. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. God is with us. Be not dismayed. Don't cry. Don't worry. For I am God. Thy God. I will strengthen thee. He will give you strength through this process. Yea, I will I will help thee. Yea, I will hold thee up with my right hand of my righteousness. Y'all, God has us. He has us. It don't matter what it look like, what it feels like. You could be in the middle of it of, of your deception. You could be at the end of your deception. You could be right in the in the middle of this I mean, at the beginning of the, your deception. Either way, God has us. He has us. And he will repay. Again, every man according to their works. Okay? Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing and and they shall no they shall be as nothing they going out of here and they that and they that strive with thee shall perish out of here okay thou shalt seek them and they shall not be found you shall not find them even them that contended with thee so for all of those people that were actually there who were doing it, but those people that were sitting on the side watching the people doing it and not saying anything, they're going to be got too. The recompense that's coming forth in this time, the vengeance that's coming forth. Man, you are, I'm, these enemies, These the, the enemy is going to wish that he did not play with the child of God. The enemy is going to wish that he did not come for the people of God. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. They shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. Y'all, y'all, the way that the Lord came through for this specific word. I can't be nothing but joyful only because the joy of the Lord is my strength. If you only have known the things that I've experienced within the last past couple of years. Honey, honey, the joy of the Lord is my strength and God will repay every man according to their works. And so I looked up of not, I looked up not, the word not, okay? And I looked it up in the Greek and the Hebrew meaning. And so the Hebrew meaning of not means properly a breath, i.e. nothing. 
and they shall be of nothing. And they shall be of nothing. Although he used nothing, he still used not. He used both words. And they shall be of nothing. And then I've, I've, I've read that it's derived term from an unused root. Probably meaning to, to breath. In the Greek and also in um, Hebrew, it also meant worthless or shown to be worthless. So, and they shall be nothing, and they shall be worthless, and they shall be breathless. To breathe not, they will breathe no more. Y'all. Hear me what I say. I'm going to continue to read on. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy hand, thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not. I will help thee. Fear not. Thou, thou worm Jacob. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord. And thy Redeemer, the Holy Holy One of Israel. Yeah. 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 Y'all. If, if y'all need any more confirmation, I don't know what to tell you. But but again, don't take my word for it. You go to the Holy Spirit for yourself. Ask, say, Lord, is what she's saying true? What are you doing in this season and this time? Father, I, I want to be aware, Father. Make me aware of what's going on because you said according to your word that you will not have me ignorant. And I'm just going to paraphrase from the Message Bible because I love the way that they said it. And it says, but you Israel are my servant. We are people of God. You are Jacob, my first choice. We are God's first choice. His bride is his first choice. His people are his first choice. Descendants of his friend Abraham. We are friends of God. He calls us friend. Come on now. God's picked you. He's picked us. This is the, this is the sum up of, of the messenger's Bible because they use some of the words. And I just love how they said it. And it says, God's picked you. He's picked us, y'all. He's chosen us. He said he hasn't dropped us. Don't panic. Do not panic during this time. Whether you're in the beginning, the middle, or the end of the deception of the enemy. Do not panic. For God is with us. He is with us. He is with us. Even if it's another strain or not strain or, or whatever is going on. I don't care. You apply this word to whatever God is speaking to you on. Just know that people are going to be dropping dead. Your enemies are going to be dropping dead. And no, not just from COVID or not from COVID. They're going to be dropping dead from judgment because of sin. Judgment because of pride. But he said, don't panic for I am with, with you. Everyone who had it in for you. This is what the message Bible says. Everyone who had it in for you will end up. In the cold, as real losers, empty-handed with nothing to show for their lives. When you go, when you go out and look for the adversary, your adversary, or your adversaries, you won't find them. Not even a trace of a memory. This is what the Message Bible said. And I'm paraphrasing Isaiah 41 from the Message Bible 8 through 14. Not even a trace of a memory of these people. You guys, the Lord is serious about his people. And he will show no mercy in this season. Whew, Jesus. He will show no mercy in this season. Let me get my other book because I want to make sure that I, I touch everything that God has given me concerning this word.
Got it written here. I don't play no games. Yes. And the words that the Lord spoke to me again. He said, I am that I am. And he said, the time has come. Just judgment, judgment is happening now, you guys. And don't be surprised if your enemies start leaving out of here. Out of torment. They're, they're going to be leaving out of here in torment. Headed to torment. Leaving out of here in torment. Headed to torment. This is what I have ri written, you guys. Take a pause if you need to. Leaving out of here in torment to torment. All because of sin. All because of pride. Every plot against the enemy shall be overthrown. Mm. I decree and declare that every plot against the enemy shall be overthrown. And I pray for those people who God doesn't take out of here. And their hearts haven't been right. I pray that they get their hearts right. In the name of Jesus. And if this word affects you to some degree. And, and, and you have an attitude once this word has been delivered. Then that means you need to get your heart right. This is another opportunity for you to get your heart right. And if you don't get your heart right. Woe unto you. You have been warned. Harden not your heart. For the kingdom of God is at hand. And he's judging righteously. He's a just God. Y'all. This was heavy. I didn't know when I was going to get this word. Because I'm like, Lord, you sure? You sure? But God, if thou servant hears, thou servant will deliver. In Jesus' name. And he will cover me. In the, in the midst of it all. In, in Jesus name. I stand in the gap for every person. Who believes in the most high Yah. Who serves him in spirit and in truth. Who has been experiencing the attacks of the enemy. Who has felt like it will not get better. Who has felt like it will not. They cannot come up for air. Who have felt like they have been in it alone. Who have felt like Lord. I can't take no more. I stand in the gap for you. I stand in the gap for every believer. Period. Absolutely. We come in to tear Satan's kingdom down by any means necessary. So whatever that look like. Hey. That's what it look like. Woe unto you. You guys. I love y'all so much. I'm your girl Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com. This is not warning. This is not a threat. This is the word of the Lord concerning you. When you hear the word of the Lord, harden not your heart. For the kingdom of God is at hand. That's for someone, everyone who needs to hear it. People are going to be dying. They're going to be dropping dead from torment and they are going to be going to torment the Holy Spirit said I am that I am and he has to show you guys who's really God because we've removed him in ways that y'all cannot even imagine the government system the church households families people relationship friend who however workplaces whatever however this word applies to you but God's judgment is here. He said the time is here. The time has come now. So look out. Don't take my word for it. Test my spirit. And see, see if it's of God or not. See. See. I won't be offended. I will not. This message is approved by the Holy Spirit. And I stand firm on the Holy Spirit of God. Not many days hence. 
In Jesus' name, I love you guys with the love of the Lord. I pray that you crown up in every way that you are able. This is a long video. But if you were able to stick around to the end, God bless you. Amen. Amen. And um, I just want you to know that I love you with everything that I know and that I am praying with you guys and I am praying for you guys. Those who, were, who will receive the word of the Lord and the God in me. Crown up. Remember, you can cry a little bit, maybe even cry a lot. Do that. Do what you need to. Don't stay there. On where you've been, on where you're going, on where you want to go. Maybe you've put yourself in a place of pain, hurt, anguish, or what have you. Maybe you did not. But don't stay in the second place. Get up. We have work to do in the, in the kingdom. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Take up your royal place in the kingdom because we have work to do. You guys, I love you guys so much. I'll see y'all on the next video. Have a blessed day. Peace.